So there were some questions second guessing our decision <laughs> to not do the open railing anymore. And Tom's been second guessing that decision. He thinks that we should still do it. So what we're gonna do today is mock up what it would actually look like to do the open railing. And then we also have some other design questions to run by you. So we'll start out with the staircase and then we'll get to some other thoughts I've been having <laughs> about this space too. <laughs> But I told Tom, like, once we make a decision, then we're, that's what it is, and then it's, it's totally holding up us being able to finish this. I thing. actually, so a lot of you may be wondering, did I uh, get all my sheetrocking done in the time frame that I told Dawn I was going to get it done? Right. The answer is no. I got three pieces of sheetrock up, and then uh, Dawn started thinking about different layouts, which is going to involve me changing electrical, so I stopped got put on hold so, so like, you decide what you want to do and yeah. we'll make the electrical changes now so that's why we would like your help so <laughs> let's start with the staircase and then I'll tell you my other ideas for reworking this space real quick we thought it might be helpful to recap exactly what it is we're doing here again because <laughs> we started this back in four months ago December I just so we got interrupted by our whole camper uh, debacle but now we're back at it again the staircase used to start down here and go that way, right? So opposite of what you're seeing right now. So the staircase went up, you walked up into a wall, you did 180 degree, so you turned the opposite direction, there was a little landing, mm -hmm. and then one bedroom on the other side of the house upstairs. So we just had the landing space and one bedroom. Yep. And four kids. <laughs> so what we did was we flip-flopped the staircase, so we yanked the staircase totally out, rebuilt it in the opposite direction, took a closet out upstairs. So now when you come up the steps, you end up in the center of the upstairs. And then we made a bedroom off to one side and a bedroom off to the other side. So now we have a boy's room and a girl's room. And then we decided because we had this all tore up, we might as well go a little bit further, remove the plaster in this area as well mm -hmm. so that we can re-insulate and rewire. And then from there, it then came right. the idea to reconfigure the space. Right, because this house was built in 1940, it had an addition in the 90s put on. Uh, but then last year, I replaced all the windows in the house and started residing it. So the house has all brand new windows. Um, but we've been, as we've been remodeling, we've been adding insulation because it has like the maximum thickness of a half an inch uh, newspaper as insulation in all the old section. So what's funny though is we actually looked up like what's the R value of newspaper insulation. If it was an inch think, thick, which it was not, it was like maybe a quarter inch, half inch? Quarter to half. Uh, depending on the area, an inch thick of, of newspaper insulation would be a 3 R value. And what's the R value of the... Uh, I put 15 R value. We only have uh, 2 by 4 construction, so your R value is limited on how, how thick you can get it. Mm -hmm. So we got 15 R value in insulation I'm adding into all of this. And then last year I put a half inch thick foil faced foamer on the outside of the house. We did that before I sided. So that was 3R. So we have about 18R value of what we've added. So that does then, especially with putting the new windows, make it feel worth it to go through the extra work of taking down the plaster. Mm -hmm. Well, at least Tom had to do the extra work <laughs> of taking down the plaster. So it is a lot of work, but I know some people have been like, why would you go through the hassle of taking down the plaster? Mm -hmm. Because we live in an area where the temperature can literally swing 100 degrees in like a month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's made more work, but I think we are glad that we did do the plaster and the arch and, mm -hmm. and everything. And I think this space, um, is going to be even more useful than it was before. Mm -hmm. Which, when you're in a small house, you need to <laughs> make Maximize use of every square foot. Yep. Okay, so I want to have Tom hang this piece of plywood to represent where the wall would be with the steps. Okay, and then. Will you show which, um, like which stud it would be open up until? Um, I would guess it'd be open to here, wouldn't it? Okay. Yeah. So, do we have a way to show that? Because that's what I feel like is making this not look so cool is that it's actually not that big of an opening. Oh. 
That's gonna look so nice when that wall is closed up again. It's been open for so long now. <laughs> See, I think okay. that's awesome. I think that's a huge space open. Let's run our painter's tape to represent the, the real. I remember is we were originally talking that this is our post. Right. Do we have a two by four handy? So, All right. So here's our end post then. I'm just gonna wedge it. Yeah. Perfect. So that's the post. Okay. And then where's the painter's tape? I think that's a huge space. All right. So will you run the railings now? All right, so now we have to figure out, so that would be the top rail, so we have to figure out how many rails we would want. Well, so maybe let's go up four the inches for the bottom. And then I'm, I'm you're gonna have to just go parallel. So. Does it show off? What? <laughs> yeah, you, it looks you, good. You love it? <laughs> All right, so this whole time, Dawn's been leaning towards closing it up. No, because I liked the idea of the open <laughs> railing. It's just that the project was getting so big. So I was worried that it was going to be too steep and it was going to look kind of funny. But I think it doesn't look too steep. I think steep. it looks awesome. And I think it would probably look really cool. But okay, but here's the other thing. All right, one second. Okay, so the other thing, though, that we've been talking about is swapping the layout where I would move my desk from where I'm standing to that wall and we would set up like a counter with computer stations in it because we're realizing right now having the kids at home that even though our homeschooling next fall will look a little different than what we're doing now we're still going to need computers for them to work on and we don't have area for that right now so talking about can you kind of show like how we would make like where we would make a counter on this well, wall here's what we, we originally talked kind of like the camper setup where we have a yeah. big countertop we talked about making a counter this whole length yep. and doing three computer stations with underneath cabinets that would be essentially like kitchen uppers yep um so they're only a foot deep that we could store all their stuff in it wouldn't block any of this space up here Yep. Dawn would work here, and then we'd have two spots for kids to use computers for school. And then over here... And then this space that I'm currently storing all my tools in would be... Yeah, that looks nice. Thanks. Yeah. Would be uh, like a big square table Yep. for the kids to, kids to do schooling. So we could fit four stools around it. We would make it, custom make it to fit in that space Correct. and fit well. Correct. So that would be that space. So again though, the reason we were potentially deciding against the open railing was because Tom has to put a big header, not a big, but he has to put a header in there. He has to move electrical, move the thermostat wire. So it is, a, it's, and then build this whole railing, do like lots of finish work around like this wall and wood trim and everything to make it look finished and nice. So it is significantly more work. To do that right as opposed to just putting up sheetrock did you tell them all that we have to pull the flooring up in the whole house yet too no and we have to pull up our vinyl plank flooring because and somebody tried to do a quick fix when we bought this house we have a transition between the living room and the dining room that, that is cracked. failing so basically this side of the house is like an eighth inch or so lower than the other side of the house when we bought the house i knew that and i was trying to rush so we could get it down, all the flooring in. And, and just get it. moved in, yeah. Um, and the fix that I did has failed and that whole seam between this half and that half is cracked. And, and so to do so. that, we have to pull up all of the flooring, like right. through the kitchen and relay because it Because this all. flooring started where Dawn is at in her office and went that way through the house. Well, it's the clip together. And so I do not believe you can install it in reverse. <laughs> <laughs> You all are gonna vote with Tom. I just, I just already know how this is going. So I thought we were gonna finish a video. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> so I often feel misunderstood in my ideas. So no, I was trying to sketch out what it would look like in my idea with keeping the wall closed.
That actually looks really good. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, sorry, I'm not trying to sound surprised. Um, that actually sounds, looks really good and I would be, I mean, functionally, I think that's probably the best scenario. So we would have a butcher block counter. Under here are the upper cabinets, again, so they're not too deep. That would be adding even drew up in there. for storage. And then on, so this is the stairwell, so this was where the railing yeah. just was. So we'd put um, planking on it, not shiplap because I don't want it to look farmhouse. I want it to look like our house was built in the 40s, so that's the style I want to stick with. So planking on the wall painted white, just like some gallery picture frames that the artwork can be variable. But then some computer stations set up, and then this is the opening that goes to the kitchen. Cool. I actually like that a lot. <laughs> so if Tom will indulge me, I'm going to see if he'll lean up a piece of sheetrock against the railing wall and see what that looks oh, like. Oh, I think we can make that happen. <laughs> I suppose you want the white side out too, huh? <laughs> Not to be too picky, but... <laughs> Just gonna stand here for a moment. So that's what it would look like, closed in. And one of my thoughts was that the stairway will be really dark. But luckily we so, have the light. Yeah, it definitely makes the stairway darker. The other thing though too is right now that the girls is shade is closed. Oh, that's so true. That yeah, when their window is open up at the top of the steps and their doors open, um, you actually get quite a bit of light through there. So, all right. You want me to move the sheet rack and you can see the light difference? No, it's fine. Good. Because <laughs> I wasn't really wanting to do that. Okay, so this is where we would still like your opinion. You can vote up here in the corner. And basically, should we do the open railing? because it'll keep it open, bright, add some cool character to the house. I'm usually all about putting like cool architectural details so that we don't have to decorate our house with so much stuff. Or do we go the more practical route and keep it closed in? Or do we, how about this? We'll put up a third, a third option. And the third option is whatever Dawn wants. Let's do what Dawn <laughs> wants. I appreciate that, but I, I do want what Tom wants too, and again, he's the one that has to do all of the work, and so that's where it's like, well, if he really feels strongly about open railing and he's the one doing the work, then you know, then I think we can, I think we could make that look cool and functional too. So it would just shorten up the counter a little bit if if we did the open railing. All right, Corbin's still talking to his class. Corbin's doing a zoom with his class in the background. <laughs> It's good. <laughs> he has headphones on so we can't hear them, but yep. he, he's still talking. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and vote. Let us know what you think. Uh, also, do you think that it's a good idea to do this computer counter? Again, this would just be the computer stations and then we'd have a separate table in like the bump or out working. area yeah, yep. where the kids would do work that doesn't involve the computer. So we'd kind of have two spots set up, which again, what we've kind of been experienced with having them home now is that might be what we need. So. Um, yeah. have more spaces for everybody to spread out. <laughs> so, uh, let us know. We're excited to see what you think. Um, I think we can do a little more sheet rocking, um, before we have to make, really commit to these decisions. <laughs> so we'll keep working on that, but excited to see what you think. So thank you for watching. We hope you're doing well. If you haven't already, we hope you subscribe. Thumbs up is always appreciated and we will visit with you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>